I wanted to start this one off different. Guys, this is a brand new release. This game is called Guardian Chronicle. It's released from the same people that released Exos Heroes. I wanted to start this off with the trailer. We have some hype gameplay to showcase this, but I wanted to show you guys why I was hyped. I seen this trailer and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Of course, I'm going to talk through the whole thing. I'm going to ruin the experience for you, but I am super excited. Created by Line Games. It's in the same genre that we love. You know, we love all mobile games, but our bread and butter is PVP RNG strategy. And this game hits it all. It's live PVP. It's kind of in the tower defense defense realm. Um, take a game like Random Dice or Destiny Child Defense War, but it adds so much to it. Guys, it's super polished. And I just want to show you guys the trailer before we get into some hype gameplay. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? Showtime here back. And today we're taking a look at Guardian Chronicle. This game has just released. It's from the same makers that created Exos Heroes. So, guys, I am super excited to showcase this game. And it's in the same realm of the games that are on this channel. It's a... First of all, where do I start? This game is PvP. It's RNG. It's strategy. Actually, it's live PvP. So, it's in the same genre of the games that we're playing on this channel. And don't get mad at me, but this game is pretty polished. And... Destiny Child Defense War can learn a few things from it, and I'll let you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get into it. First of all, let's just let's start the game with a summons. Let's start the game with a summons. I mean, let's start the video with a summons. I mean, why not? Why not? Let's see what's going on here. We got some gold, Yachi, Elon, Carrot. All right, these guys are actually on my team already. I've only been playing for a couple a couple days, guys. But super polished, guys. Super polished. Let's uh. Let's get into some PvP. Let's get into some PvP. Let me show you guys exactly how the game works. So you guys know how a random dice or in uh, Destiny Child Defense War, how it's just perfect squares. No, this one takes it to a whole nother, whole nother level. Check it out. Matchmaking begin. The matchmaking takes it takes about a minute. I'm not going to lie. It takes about a minute because the game is super early. Just launched a few days ago. Not that popular yet, but created by Line Games. Same creators as Exos Heroes, this game will blow up. So if you want to play this game early, I will have the link in the description. I'm in the USA. I'm playing with no problems. You know, you can just APK it. If you don't have experience with APKs, hit me up down below. It's super simple. I'll have the link. Just follow the instructions on the link. So it's loading the match right now. Um, So there's a couple of quality of life features that this game offers that I wish Destiny Child defense war in incorporates and you will see what i'm talking about all right so we're going against an asian player all right shout out to the asian community so check this out so they let us know what, what boss is coming up um basically you you can pick exactly where you where you want the heroes to to go right this is our mana right here and this game is called lanik but we're gonna call it mana to keep everything simple um the order in which the heroes Heroes come up are um, random, but you can see what your hero is coming up next. This one is coming up next. So I'm going to actually place them right here. And uh, so the goal is your minions are coming this way and are, are coming right here, right? So you want to stop them from coming here. If they come here three times, you lose, right? That's the gist of the game. Your opponent, you're playing against somebody else. The same thing is happening with him. His minions are coming from here and going here. And if him is him is if his minions come here three times, he loses. So that's the name of the game. We will do that. Oh, I gotta actually show you um the uh, on uh on uh field effects. Alright. So too much, not enough mana or Atlantic. Let me show you guys something. Of course, in this game, the same thing applies with the merchant. If you guys are super uh, if you guys are aware of that, this one is going to pop up next when I merge. So I'm going to merge this here just to show you guys. And it comes up next, and it's a little bit stronger, right? It's a little bit stronger. You can click on it here. You can see the info right here. You can see exactly what he does. So I like that quality of life right there. But there's a lot of things that this game does that Destiny Child Defense Board does not do. But, and I'll go into that in detail. All right, guys. So basically... I don't, it's kind of weird that I'm saying this, 
but I think I'm kind of an expert in this genre. You know, I'm not saying I know the best um, gameplay. I, I'm not the best player, but I'm an expert. What you want to do in the beginning <laughs> is you want to populate all, all of the fields. You don't want to merge anything, right, in the beginning. In the beginning. And um, this Asian play, he's having a little bit of trouble. He's uh, at level 3 already. I'm at level 3 also. The boss comes up. So the boss comes up. It gives you a big blur, but what the boss does... Um, so we're def definitely going to take it down. He's actually targeting our minion. I mean, our... Our hero and actually took one of our heroes out right here, which is really interesting. He's gonna do the same thing here, or did we kill him first? We killed him first. Look how much uh mana we got for it. And my opponent is almost killing his. He just did our right, round two. This is the main boss and a sub boss, so there's two bosses every round. Go figure. Go figure. All right. So what happens is every time you kill a minion, it goes to his side of the field. Believe it or not. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're going to kill this minion right here. And that little thing there, it goes to his side of the field. And same thing when he kills, kills a minion, an extra minion goes on our side of the field. So it's a little bit more active. I know it's, it's a little fast paced, but it's a little bit more active. If you follow it, you can actually see the minions go to our side of the field. And his side of the field. That's the main boss or the sub boss. I can't remember which one it, which one it was. Pretty sure that's a sub boss. Kind of small. And I'll show you guys one more time what I'm talking about. After I kill a minion, it's going to go to his side of the field. See that right there? It's kind of probably hard to make out. All right. So, and uh, my opponent is going down. Pro he probably merged too much. He's down to two. He's down to one now. And we got our opponent victory. He's level three. And but check this out, guys. Check this out. You can go to details, right? After we win, right? We can go to details. It shows us which of our characters did the most damage. So it's this one right here, right? He did 14,000, 14, wait, 143,000 damage. But check it out. You can click here. Let you know how many monsters he killed. It's not minions in this game. I guess it's monsters. He killed 51. How much, how much landing how was how much mana? Highest star. We only merged one. So this one was the one with the highest star. Same thing for your opponent. Same thing for your opponent. Combination counts. Not really sure what that means yet. We will dive into it. So that's one quality of life feature that I thought is pretty interesting. So you can go to prepare. You can go to lobby prepare. I'm assuming it's going to take us right back into the matchmaking screen. Oh, but I have this up. All right. So check this out, guys. So you guys seen the game we just played, right? What if I wanted to see, like, what was my mistakes that game? Check this out. You can go here and go to battle record so you can see your record. But not only that, I can replay the match. Do you guys see this right here? Guys, this wasn't a clan match. This was a ladder match. And it saves the match. I can go ahead and replay and I can check out, hey, what did I do here? Did I merge this? Did I not merge this? Did I, should I power it up? It takes a little while to load, but I think this is super interesting. This is the exact same match we just seen, but check this out, guys. Not only that, right? Once the match starts, I can speed it up all the way to three times speed. Look how fast that is. Three and a half times, four times, super fast. Or I can slow it down to half speed, guys. So I can really, really, I can pause it. Guys, this is super, super exciting to me. Super exciting. I'm going to get out of that because we just watched this match, right? And then it shows me that I won. So we get out the match. Go to the lobby. So yeah, I thought that was pretty, pretty hype. Let's go ahead and do an, um, a lot of a lot of people ask me when I when I showcase new games. Hey Showtime, is there any um events for new players? So I saved it. So let me just get that. But that's not what I wanted to see. Let's go. Where is it at? Let's go back. All right. Let's go back here and let's go to mailbox, right? You go to mailbox and uh, there's some attendance. Uh, 5,000 gold for attendance, but that's not what we want to look at. Th these sold tickets, these, that's a scout ticket. My face is in the way. That's a scout ticket, the scout ticket. That's another scout ticket. So we get two, four, seven scout tickets right now. So let's, let's do that. 
scout ticket. I could have just hit received all right down here, quality of life. But hey, it is what it is. So we have seven scout tickets. Let's go ahead and uh, behind my head, there's a back button. Let's go ahead and scout, which is this right here. So right now, I don't have any gems, right? That's a, that's a thousand thousand gems for ten for a ten pull. Or we have these seven draws. There's a season scout, and there's a normal scout. So the normal scout, I'm assuming, are the normal characters. Season scout, uh, season characters. So we got Low Shu and Violet. These are the two that are big. Let's go ahead and let's do some of these summons. Let's see. First, let me look at the percentage of getting these. Uh, so low sh low shoe is 1.5 percent. Usually it's 0.1 percent. Pretty pretty low. But the legends to get a legend is 3 percent. So it's actually higher than in most um games. These are the individual rates. It's 3 percent to get a legend. Usually it's like 2 percent in these gotcha games. And to get this epic, it's going to be 7 percent. But 23 percent overall to get an epic. But for that particular one, it's 7 percent. So let's try to pull. Let's try to pull for low shoe and violet. Why not? Why not? Go ahead, let's draw. We got seven summons. Let's see the summon animation. It's the first time I've seen this. Okay, touch the drag. All right, that's pretty fun. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. So we got some Galder. Draw again. Not enough Ruby for the shot. No, 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 no. Draw again here. Okay, so, so I guess I got to do these one at a time. All right. You're going to make me drag down? All right. One at a time. What if I click it? Does it go faster? No. We got to go way through the whole animation. Victor. Uh, Can we do draw again? Actually, let me see what I'm doing. Make sure. Yep, I'm at the same banner. We have five left. I think they got to uh, change. There's no sound effects for this. I'm pretty sure they'll patch that to make that better. S Soul Ghost. Don't know if Soul Ghost is good. Yeah, so it's not letting me draw again like that with these tickets. These tickets they want they they want making me do it individually. Touch and drag. Touch and drag is kind of nice. Looks like a little pendant. Legors. Not the one we wanted. We want low shoe or violet. Low shoe or violet. Come on, low shoe or violet. Let's see. Fit, fit it? Nope, it's not what we wanted. And we got two more. Two more for low shoe or violet. Two more. Oh, let's see what we got. Carrot. Carrot is actually in our deck, so that's so we can uh, actually use more carrots. But it's the last one. Let's see. Can, can I drag it over here? No, we only can drag it straight down. It would be nice if I could dangle it either to either side. But let's see what happens. Do we get a low shoe or, or violet? No, we get an Ada. All right, or Ada. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that's it. So actually, there's actually a co-op mode as well. Um, let's see what kind of quest I got. All right, win three, win three times. All right, we'll get that. Get some gold. I level up my characters, and I'm gonna play a lot more, guys. This game is super polished. Um, Destiny Child Defense War can learn from this. Like I said, this game is brought to you by the same makers of Exos Heroes line games. So this game is going to get a lot of advertising and a lot of publicity when it actually launches. But if you want to play early, there won't be any reset. And the reason I know is any people always ask me, Showtime, how do you know there's no reset? If you go to the shop, right, and you can purchase things, right, like with money. There's no reset. <laughs> Your account is binded. My account is binded to um Google right now. You can bind it to Facebook if you want to. But yeah, guys, this is it. Let me just get this right here just to see what I got. I know it's just a gold chest, so we're not going to get much. All right, Latchy, we're using him. Icing. Look at the name of this character, Icing. And she's in my deck. She slows things down, as you guys would think. Some more carrots. Aqualop. I'm going to put Aqualop in my deck. It was out some river or something like that. Guys, like I said, this game... Let me just look at the pay to pay pay a little typical about a hundred bucks for some rubies you guys know how i feel about these games you can pay if you want but once you start paying hard to stop so guys if you want me to keep covering this game even if you don't i'm probably still going to cover it so stay tuned so for some more guardian chronicle gameplay i'll see you guys around my name is showtime peace